Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing my first vlog at school, which is interesting. I don't know why I'm talking with my hands. I need to stop, I need to fucking calm down. Whew, that's gonna, that's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I, I guess. Sorry if I've got like the rolls, I'm wearing a tight shirt and I'm kind of slouched. Sit up tall. It's good for the back. Uh, anyway, follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Also go check out my team, Team Andromeda. They're a stream team. We do some great stuff and it's pretty fun. So if you're interested in uh, keeping up with that, link to the team website is in the description down below. Same with a bunch of other stuff. All my socials are down there. You can follow me if you want. My Instagram's kind of cute, not gonna lie. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, I'm, I am gonna shave tomorrow morning. November's over now, so. I guess, I guess we'll shave. I don't know which parts I'm gonna keep. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below how gross the mustache looks. Don't bully me too hard, but like, go ahead, come on. Um, yeah, but that's, that's about it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Excuse me. I feel this. It's thievery. <laughs> that's illegal. We do be in school now. Good day. I've changed. I've shaved. Hi, Mitch. Say hello to the people. Hello, people. Yeah. All five of you watching. Hello. One of you might be Mitch. That's probably me. Hi, hi Mitch. It's trippy. Hello, Mr. Jammer. Yeah. Nice. Recording some nice uh, footage of me looking at uh, my knife. <laughs> you got the full setup today. Oh yeah, I came prepared. Yeah, you came prepared. Stealing this as well. I brought the whole bit. That's more thievery. The law breaking is unreal. Might want to peel it off and then start over. I have no idea how good this microphone is. It better pick me up. Let's keep it nice and close. Let's clip it on my shirt. Oh, I bet it sounds really fuzzy. It's gonna be fun to edit. Yay. Creeper. What's the move, boys? Am I like driving? Yeah, I'm Smash a lash? Which one am I? Am I that one? Uh, you want, it's up to you. Wanna be control? Cool. Or be joy I prefer not to be. Joy cons. I can even see the smash. Just picked up some Timmy's. Oh, why is the camera? Timmy's. Smash tournament in school. So, how would Soul Calibur? Okay. What is my name? What is my name? Alright, let's go. I'll play Sans. I'm playing a bot? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll end this quickly. It's a bot. It's Dream. If I lose to the bot, oh my, didn't you make my bot level 7 or something? It's level 7, yeah. Dude, I play against level 3 bots in Smash. Oh! Oh! Now I've got to fight a bot that I'm going to lose to. Dude, what does Sans have a cannon? Alright, like this. Just one more, just one more. I'll smash it and you'll be good One more, one more. Dude, die, man! Dude, no! Okay, right, okay. You got the left on the second. Right, just Come on, dude. No. Dude. Dude. No, he's blocking me. Oh, game over. That's why I play against level three bots. Ken Malone 3 0, Eric. It's looking likely. Yeah. Oh. 
Eric put up a fight. Wow. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to play Mario Kart? Let's play Mario Kart. Yeah. yeah I think I, I, I think everybody's good at Mario Kart. Everybody knows how to play it. All right, Mario Kart. Dude, who's in front of me? Yeah. Somebody's like bossing it right now. I don't know who that is. I'm stressing. My heart pounding. Teacher really said school is in session. Oh no. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> oh, don't, no. oh, no. <laughs> this is my favorite one. I'm excited. I'm not very good at it, but the music's just so good. Oh! Inklings freaking. Ow! Annoying! I'll take it. One second place finish, first every other time. Good lord, help us. Oh my god, who keeps jumping? <laughs> Hello, this is the interview part of the vlog. So I'm here with Mark, my teacher for this course. Um, Hello. Yeah, Mark uh, worked at EA, so we're gonna ask a couple questions about it because I think it's cool, you know? Video games are kind of, uh, I don't know, Unknown. I feel like I'm kind of disconnected as somebody who plays them. You know, you don't really know what's going on in the it, background. It's, yeah, it's rare to run into people that have worked that on That have worked sure. on it, yeah. yeah so, sure. I, you know, I have kind of want to piqued my interest in asking some questions. So, uh, question one is, um, could you tell me a little bit about your experience working at EA? Yeah, sure. So, I worked at EA Montreal, and uh, I worked on games for the... Uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and the Wii as well. Uh, the best game that I worked on there was called Army of Two and it was one of the co-op, first co-op games and it was a pretty fun project to work on. Um, yeah, and then uh, the the studio in Montreal, this was EA Montreal, they uh, they decided to switch focus because the Wii was very popular at the time, and we made a whole bunch of Wii games. So I worked on Spore for Wii, I worked on a game called Boogie that I don't like talking about because it's a dance game, and uh, also, uh, yeah, Spore, and uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it there for that one, so. Nice. Well, uh, that brings me to the next question, which is, uh, what are you most proud of from working there? Um, it, would, it would probably be Army of Two. That was yeah. the most fun. I worked on uh, props and environments. So I, I got to make a lot of the guns in the game, and I got to make the shotgun. So I'm, I'm especially proud of that in the game. So. Nice. Um, what were some of the benefits you got working there? So? Oh, EA had the pr pretty much the best benefits of any job that I've ever had and probably will have ever and again. Um, they gave so many benefits. Free games. Um, they had beer and cake every Friday. They had fruit day, Tim Hortons day. They had stock options, profit sharing, holidays. Like just the amount of, the amount of benefits that you got there was crazy. It was just crazy. Oh, right. Well, uh... Other than benefits, what sort of uh, restrictions did they give you? Um, well, uh, there's some contractual restrictions that they gave me, like I couldn't work on any other games, uh, like on the weekends and stuff, and they kind of like owned everything that, that I'd make, kind of, and they also had some clauses in the contracts that you couldn't work for any other game companies for a certain amount of years, so, so there was that part of it, so, yeah. Uh, contracts can sometimes do that. Yeah, yeah you got to read them, but you have to sign them though to get the job, right? Yeah, so I, I usually don't pick them apart that much. Exactly, yeah. Because yeah. you know, you get the job, you make do the work, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so you obviously you left EA. You're now a teacher. Um, why? Why'd you switch? Oh yeah, good question. So I decided that like at the stage of my career that I'm in now, I kind of want to like pass along knowledge like to a younger generation and I just, I feel like now is kind of the appropriate time. Um, in addition to that, um, I'm thinking that like if I can do some teaching and mix that with projects, I can kind of pick and choose about which projects I take as opposed to saying yes to everything, which is kind of what I do now because I mean you get, work is work, right? But I, I want to be a little bit more picky in the future, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I guess last question is, you know, to flex your teaching muscles more so, 
Um, what would you say to people who are looking for a job in 3D modeling or video gaming companies? Or oh yeah, that's a, that's a great question to ask because uh, I'm sure a lot of people are interested in yeah, that. Yeah, would be interesting. I, I would say uh, like as far as like keep your portfolio, try to tailor your portfolio towards the jobs that you're applying for. So if you want to apply for a game that, or a company that's making army games, try to show a lot of army related things in your portfolio. And portfolio is very expensive or very important. So you focus on your portfolio and try to just get, get good at that. And the other thing I'm going to mention is just that this is a new thing for artists that I think everybody should be aware of. There's something called NFTs out there. And if you can tie your art to NFTs, then that means you can continue to get paid for your art over the course of your life. And this is something that uh, makes sense for artists. And uh, you, should, you should be aware of anyways and look into. Yeah. Well, uh, that's it. Thank you for answering some of my questions. No problem. Piquing my interest, but nope, yeah. No problem. Oliver's a good student. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice. What do you guys think? Good interview? Good interview. Okay. Good, yeah.